Hey everyone, welcome to the latest grid unboxing video. Check out the new digs, aren't they pretty sweet? I'm absolutely loving this new set. This is BB-8, it's all mine. It's all mine, my BB-8. Snuffy, my Snuffy. It's so cool. Oh yeah, there's an unboxing video. So this month is the Marvel Collector Corps Guardians of the Galaxy box. Just so you know, this box is much bigger. Almost two combined boxes, just compared to the other Marvel boxes right here. So I'm expecting a lot of sweet stuff, just based on that alone. Let's get this puppy open. And of course I struggle with opening boxes, just like every video. Wouldn't it be one of mine without that? All right, so pin and patch, just like every other one. First of all, we've got a Groot pin. Like I said, Groot, but it's angry Groot. It's all Groot crazy, ready to get straight up in your business. And then the patch, patch may be my favorite patch so far because it's a really happy, smiley rocket. And just saying that I have a rocket patch is probably the coolest thing I've said all day. Check that out. Rocket patch. All right, let's get in here. Right on top, Guardians of Infinity variant number one. It's incredibly cute. Rocket and Groot are playing in the snow and Groot is a tree with little lights on him. He's adorable. Oh, this is cool. Looks like instead of a t-shirt, we get a Guardian scarf. It's bright blue. It says Guardians of the Galaxy. It's got the Funko Guardians right over here. And check this out. Groot in his pot on the backside with a giant marble. I absolutely love this. I'm going to wear this tonight. Now, next thing, the pop toys. It's a Groot and Rocket holiday theme. And it's, uh, it's something kind of new. They're not the pop vinyls. They're the bobblers. Pop, uh, yeah, it says Bobblers Vinyl Bobbleheads. Um, they're incredibly adorable. As you can see, Rocket has a bow on his gun and Groot is in a little red and green pot. Lastly in the box is a Star-Lord Pop Ceramic Mug. Now from what I've heard, there was a one in five chance they made one for all of these. You can collect all five of the Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy mugs. I've seen a Groot so far and I've seen a uh, Drax. No, no word yet on Gamora or Rocket, but if you have one of those, definitely put it in the comments. I'm eager to see what they look like. I am gonna open this one up right now because I really wanna see what it looks like. I already have a Drax mug that somebody my friend Nicole actually gave me for Christmas last year. Oh, this is so adorable. It, it's a giant mug. You could fit like a couple, eh, maybe a cup and a half of coffee in there. Definitely more than eight ounces. But it's so cute. It's got the big eyes. He's, he's just adorable. So, if you didn't notice, no standard pop vinyl this time and no t-shirt. I assume that's what these two and the scarf replaced. And that's okay. I like that Funko is mixing it up. It seems a little odd not to do the t-shirt since we were told it's in every box, but not a big deal. I'm not worried about it. And if you are counting, this is number five. This means the Deadpool one in February is the last one of the year. So we should be getting the gold Captain America statue right after that, or maybe with it. I'm not entirely sure how they're going to do that, but I'm excited for that one. Uh, if you're counting on the Star Wars ones, we're only at number two, and they haven't announced what the big uh, founders package is going to be, and I'm excited about that. But word 
on the internet is we're going to get a flocked Chewy in the next Smuggler's Bounty Box, which I am so excited about because Chewy's my absolute favorite. Um, so we've got that coming up in January. We have the Deadpool box, like I said, in February, and it's going to be a really awesome next couple of months. If you've got any other things that we should unbox, if you know of any other special deals coming out, let us know. We'd be happy to check that out for you. Till then, I'm Ray for The Grid, your entertainment outpost.